can I get you to introduce yourself, please? Yeah, uh, my name is Laura Macy. I'm 22 years old and I'm a dancer and musician from Liverpool. And you studied where? I studied at the Liverpool Institute for Performing Arts. And how long did you study there for and what did you study? I studied for three years and I studied dance. Now, you've just recently done a fantastic video. Part Thank of it you. was shot in Formby as well, wasn't yeah. it? Yeah, it was. How long did it take you to do it and why did you shoot it? Uh, it took us around six weeks, I think, to rehearse and then get all of the shooting days as well. I think it was quite a challenge because all of the dancers that I use in the video all have jobs as well, so it was hard to find availability for all of us to get together at the same time. Um, and we just, I heard this incredible piece of music by Samuel Kim uh, that was a cover of Running Up That Hill by Kate Bush and I just really wanted to choreograph to it and be able to give an opportunity to other dancers in Liverpool to be able to dance and do something creative, I think. <laughs> How long did it take you to choreograph it? Um, I kind of did it in sections. It took me probably around like two to three hours for each section to choreograph it. It took a lot of time. <laughs> now, you even shot in the Mersey Tunnels as yes. well yeah, as yeah. Liverpool Airport. Yeah, and Liverpool Airport, yeah. How did you get permission? <laughs> it, um, it took a while, to be fair. We were meant to shoot in the Mersey Tunnels, the rail tunnels, um, but that kind of fell through last minute. So I contacted Nick Biglow at Mersey Tunnels for the Queensway Tunnel, and he was so helpful. He just said straight away, like, yeah, we'll see. What we can do. He took the videographer on a tour around the tunnels. I think for about three hours they were down there, <laughs> um, and they were so helpful. Within two days they got back to us and said that we could film. Now, how big a difference do you think that made being able to actually have that type of access? I think it really upped the production value of the video. It's something that not everyone has access to, so it's quite interesting for locals in Liverpool to see like the, that side of Liverpool. Do you want to do more videos like this? And um, what was the aim of it? Yeah, I'd love to do more videos like this. I think next time we're going to aim for something completely different because we've kind of set the standard quite high already from the last video. Um, and I wanted to do it because I feel like there's not many opportunities at the moment for artists in the Northwest. I think it is getting better, but it's kind of hard when you come out of graduating and you're not in London to find like dance opportunities. So I wanted to create this moment for people to meet, so for dancers to meet videographers and the photographers and producers and everything so that people can network and connect with other artists in the area. Liverpool has a massive film industry, have you had a look at that? Yeah, I, well since speaking to you <laughs> I have started to look into the film side of things here. I think I didn't realise how much is actually going on here and I've just started to get into extras work as well just to build up some more contacts in the industry. Now, it's not just the film industry you're interested in, you also play, is it the piano? Yeah, yeah I play piano as well, I've played since I was about 7 years old and I do weddings and stuff so yeah I'd love to be able to combine all of my skills and do piano and dance at the same time. <laughs> are you after doing mu more music videos or are you specifically branding yourself in a set way? Um, not really, I think as a person I find it kind of boring to do the same thing every day so I want to be able to do loads of different things if possible. I'd love to be able to do music videos, um, I really want to do a tour for a commercial artist, that's like the big dream and a uh, work in film as well as a dancer and as a pianist if that's possible. You're heading to the USA aren't you as well? Yeah, yeah I'm, I'm moving back in October this year, um, just see what happens from there. Is there anything you want to do over there? Any places you need to go or anybody you want to see? So when I go back in October I'm heading back to LA um, to do some more training over there. I was there in April for a month this year and found I made some incredible contacts and I think just improved so much in a short space of time and I want to experience that level of training again and just being around those people who inspire me to do better. <laughs> How hard is it coming out of Covid and seeing the industry you really want to get into completely decimated? Um, yeah, when you put it like that. Um, yeah, it was hard when you first left from graduating. There wasn't really that many auditions around. There was only really auditions for cruises. And as much as I would love to travel, I feel like I want to do different things all the time and I don't particularly want to do the cruise side of things. So I found it quite hard to find any work that wasn't a cruise to do a dance. Um, but luckily I had the piano side of things to fall back on. 
but I think the industry is very slowly getting back to where it should be now. There's definitely a lot more auditions that have opened up since I got back in May. Um, there's been a couple of commercial auditions since then, so I'm hoping that more will come over the next few months. Is there any type of uh, genre you specifically love? I think definitely commercial and heels recently as well. Um, I think it's just so much fun, like that side of the industry, and would love to be able to tour doing that or work on films. And if anybody wants to find out more about you and also see your amazing videos, where do they go? So my Instagram is at Laura Macy and the video is on YouTube and it's also on my Instagram. I think if you also follow the company Resonant Sounds then it's on their website as well. And Resident Sounds, there's a connection though, isn't there? Yeah, that's my production team. So it's all of the graduates that I met at Lippo. There's two boys who run the company, Jacob Hanslip and Sam Maynard, who are both really good friends of mine. <coughs> Sorry, my voice is going on. Um, so yeah, they set up this company just after they left Lippo and they kind of have a similar aim to me in that they wanted to bring together all elements of the arts to be able to provide for other people so they do videography they do photography they do like music videos they do live acoustic sessions as well so they're providing quite a lot of different opportunities for artists to get some really great material for like portfolios or for websites are we going to see more of you on youtube yes definitely <laughs> have you got a youtube dedicated youtube channel uh, mine is just laura macy as well um, I think the video will probably be on Resonant Sounds. Um, yeah, it'll be on either of those. Thank you, good luck, and we'd love to see you back in Liverpool soon. Yes.